Okay, here are my pickups for today. Um, what you see here represents uh, $151 in spending by me. I'm going to do the games first and I'll do the other stuff. Uh, for $75, uh, this box will represent a even uh, fair profit for me. Um, the people I bought the system from to swore that it worked. So um, I got uh, basically <clears throat> one of the older Xbox 360s, tw 20 uh, gig hard drive. Um, in fairly okay cosmetic condition with two other controllers that uh, I guess they're not the wireless ones which is fine with me I don't care if they're wireless or not um, I got I paid 75 for this box so if this works I'll get my money back with a game say on on the system with one controller if the system works um, the extra controller I can use to pair up with another system. I'm going to hold on to I'm not going to try and sell it uh, because I, I I'm always getting systems up and then I got um, Part of that was I got this Wii uh, cartoon, Matters Tell Tales. Probably not a um, game of any real value at all. I got a Skylanders Giants. Maybe this is worth a little bit more. But I, I'm, like in the scheme of things, that those were like to be two for five. Uh, but like I said, 75 for everything. Um, then I got an X360 MotoGP 2006, uh, PGR uh, Project Gotham Racing 3. Uh, all 360 games. And actually, I looked at them. They look clean, so... I can probably get my 70, even if the system doesn't work, it's parts, um, a Madden 06, uh, a pretty much worthless Guitar Hero 3. I'll probably take the disc out and use the case for an, another game. So, Grand Theft Auto 4, this is probably um, the most valuable game out of what I got, unless I'm, I'm mistaken. Um, Fight Night Round 3, probably a game I'll get in the $5 range for. Uh, Call of Duty World at War, I'll probably get around 5 or 6 for that. Um, Perfect Dark Zero, not a valuable game. Not a very easy to sell game also. Uh, Amped 3. Uh, then I got two PS2 games. Um, Tekken 5 and Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. I could probably get like four or five a piece for these. So basically... Even if the system doesn't work, I'm covered. I'm not going to get rich off of that that group. Um, in the morning, they had told somebody 125 for everything, and they were like, "New," no. because I think that's around um, where the, where you, where you can go with that. You know, maybe maybe the box is worth 150 or 160, but man, 125. But uh, you know how people are. <clears throat> for twenty dollars, oh, it has a FIFA game in there too. Woohoo! Okay, uh, for twenty-three dollars. Um, for twenty dollars, I bought a PS uh, Two complete controllers, whatever, and it came with these two memory cards. I don't know if these memory sticks are PS Two or One or what. They don't say, so I'm assuming they might be PS One. Um, I don't know. We'll see. What's that? A dent? Something? Out? Uh, I just noticed it. A dent or something there, but I guess that's not a problem as long as everything goes in. All right, I'm focusing on, on nonsense. And um, for a dollar a piece, I mean, this guy had advertised he had a ton of games, and I got a f I didn't get there till late. It just wasn't the way I was going, and I can't I couldn't I can't really go early on Fridays anyway. So um, I bought his leftover. You know, he had like a N64 missing the the tray uh, with the the regular jumper pack. He wanted thirty, I get thirty, so I was like, okay, forget it. Uh, he probably sold all his his good stuff early. Uh, anyway, I got a Sonic Heroes. Uh, I got another Sonic Heroes Greatest Hits, and I got a Simpsons Road Rage uh, Greatest Hit. So $23, that's what I got. Um, Non-game stuff. Uh, goodbye, game people. Okay, um, this I shouldn't have bought because it's a USB. I paid like 5 bucks for it. I, I, want, I, need a, I want to want to plug in for um, like uh, my iPod for the table. Uh, I bought a bunch of memory sticks and a film card, and uh, let's see... This is probably 50. I don't know. Maybe it was 50. No, the 4 gigabyte. Okay, these range like, uh, this one was $4. It's an 8 gig. And uh, this was like 50 cents. That's a 1 gig. 50 cents, 1 gig. This is 4 gig. It was either $3 or I think I paid 25 for all this. So these came to 20. And he didn't get, he gave me a dollar discount. This $3 run is, uh, I think it's a 4 gig. Uh, whatever. Okay, and then here's a 16. I paid uh, six gigabytes and a film card for eight gigs. I have a fine deal. You know, this stuff is more expensive, so uh, um, you know I can use it. My I, either my kid use it or whatever. For five dollars, this was probably the best um, 
purchase of the day. My wife uh, bought this. And it's an assortment of jewelry. Um, this is a nice faceted <clears throat> kind of uh, red with uh, kind of a, an Aurora Borealis uh, shine on it. Necklace. Um, flag pin. Uh, some earrings. Kind of funky. I don't know if you can see those. There's a pair of those. All right. And another pair of earrings, elephant pin, uh, elephant pin, yeah, five dollars, right, for everything. Earrings, mm, not missing any stones. These earrings here, all right, and um, a charm bracelet, uh, Disney charm bracelet, and this is stuff I believe will mostly sell in the three to eight or so dollar range. Here's another pin. Uh, just a pretty little floral. This is probably like a four or five dollar pen for us if we want. And just some earrings. Uh, and another pair of earrings. But um, guess what? 14 karat gold. Um, of course, it's hollow. It's very light. Uh, not a lot. As you can see, I put my finger next to it, all jumbled up. But probably enough to pay for most of what I bought today. You know, probably, there's probably about 60 or so dollars in gold, and I only spent 151 on everything. So that certainly helps. And then at the first sale we went to, um, this is probably the only thing we bought for resale. The rest is kind of a cool spatula. <laughs> Skull <clears throat> for 50 cents. And toothbrushes. So nonsense. But yeah, that covers everything I got today.